Well, first of all, we have to become more and more open-minded. We have to respect advances in science and technology wherever it comes from. How they have got to that level, that is the first requirement for us to reach the pinnacle of our learning. So open-mindedness to learn from people who have performed better than us. Second, we have to expose our students and teachers to how the students and teachers in countries that have performed better than us learn and teach. In other words, we have to increase the interaction between Indians and foreigners. We have to invite them, we have to go there, etc. The third thing is we have to encourage our youngsters not to be scared to experiment, to think, to ask questions. Most of our learning has to be reverse of what happens today. You study at home and ask questions in the class rather than just listen in the class and then try and discuss with people outside. I think if we make the classrooms more and more interactive, I believe that we will improve. For example, uh, one of the uh, courses that are very, very popular at Harvard is a course on philosophy taught by uh, Michael Sandel. I don't know if uh, our viewers have watched the 12 YouTube videos that are available in, uh, I think on YouTube if I'm not wrong. This is held in a place called Sanders Theatre because probably about 500 students attend that class or something. It's an undergraduate course. Now, most of the classroom is interaction, is participation by students. I think that is the kind of teaching that we have to accept, rather than it being a monologue from the teacher to the student.